All right, Chuck, I'm going to take off to the north. Airspace is clear. Oh, that's way better. Look at that. Yep. Yeah, so the witness marks on the fuselage are there for a reason. <laughs> that confirmed that. Yeah, even hands off the stick, this thing is dead solid. Yep. There is no trim at all needed. How much power you got on? 50%. Got a nice good altitude. And it looks right too, you know, it's scale-wise, the, the proportions are all right. The other one, the proportions aren't quite right on it to get it to fly right. The one that the uh, little archer that I got painted up with my grandpa's plane, the, the, the proportions aren't right. It still looks the part, but this one, when you put the two together, you really realize that this one is way more scale. So what do you have in there, 2200? Yeah, it's a 2200 3S in there right now. Power off. Okay. Not bad. No. No, not at all. Just a little bit of descent, and that's not bad. Makes it easy to land that one. Yes. Yeah. Especially now that the elevator's trimmed. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how that might just play into it. Like it's say, got the presence. Yeah. It looks right, flies right, looks scale. Yeah, it'll be all painted up uh, over the winter. It'll be white, white and blue when I get done with it. Nope. The other one I have that's. Uh, um, the Park Zone Archer, that's getting repainted uh, this weekend to match my grandpa's other blind. Okay, roger that. He's gonna land. So yeah, it'll be uh, black and gold and it will match his 78 arrow when I get done with it. So, And this one will match his 66 Cherokee when I'm done. Sky is clear, by the way. Okay, roger that. It's nice that they come pre-installed, you know, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Uh, I think 80% on the uh, aileron and elevator and 100% on the run. I'm going to go ahead and bring it in. Boy, that was real. Yeah. Nice flare. Oh, that was nice. Much better. All right, on the field. All right, we'll see you, friends.